Okay guys, so now I'm gonna tell you everything that I did to grow my hair back. So if you didn't know, I was anemic before and I had hair loss. I actually have a whole video about that. I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna watch that. But this video is basically just gonna be what exactly I did to grow my hair back from being very thin and very short to, as you can see now, full, healthy, and long. So the first thing that I did, and if you find out that you're anemic, the first thing you need to do is start taking some sort of iron supplement. The ones that I recommend are Mega Food Blood Builder. These are the best in my opinion. They're the most gentle. It does not make your stomach hurt because that's the thing with iron pills. They're so hard on the stomach. But these ones actually, you don't even have to take it with food. I took these for probably about six months until my iron, my blood levels came up. And then I stopped because after that, you don't need to continue taking them. But these are literally like one of the main reasons why my hair grew back. Because to be honest, if you're anemic, the first thing that you need to do is you need to cure your anemia before you even think about like what can I do to my hair to make it grow long now if you're not anemic and you just want to know like what I did to make my hair grow then just skip this step <laughs> so the second thing that I actually did was I stopped using all heat flat iron blow dryer whatever no more heat and I just started to wear my hair in its natural curly state so I would wear wash and goes or protective styles if you look at the beginning of my channel you can see when my hair was curly I did that probably for like a year two years I don't know but I will say that if you do it for at least six months minimum you definitely will see a difference in your hair your hair will become more thicker healthier and it will grow but the longer you can do it the better but I know it's not possible sometimes you just want to straighten your hair but honestly if you want to grow your hair heat is a big big no-no it's just gonna cause heat damage it's gonna make your hair dry your hair is gonna like shed and break off more so stop using the heat I stopped using the heat for like I said a whole bunch of years and I didn't start using heat in my hair until recently like when your hair is healthy then you could start doing stuff to it you know but if you're trying to grow your hair no <laughs> no heat at all so for shampoo and conditioner the best ones that I have tried is from diva curl and it's their diva curl decadence line that line is the most like hydrating and moisturizing and it really like makes your curls pop so if you want to wear your hair in a wash and go which was what I did then that shampoo and conditioner is very very good so after that when I wear my hair like down and curly I only use one product well I use a little bit of coconut oil honestly for me this is the best product that works for my hair if you see my hair like when it was curly 90% of the time it's because of this one product that I'm gonna show you my favorite thing to style my hair is this herbal essence hello hydration conditioner I know some of you guys are like that's not a styling product it's a conditioner you can use it as a styling product I used it as a styling product for many many years and it just works really good with my hair so after I get out of the shower when my hair is damp I will add like a little bit of oil I use cold coconut oil that's what I prefer and then I'll take some conditioner and then I'll run it through my hair and then I'll take a comb and I comb it all the way through then I just basically after that let it air dry for me on the first day my curls never look good I don't like how it looks on the first day but the second day the third day so so beautiful with just this I would recommend this over like the higher end products because I feel like this works just the same and this is really affordable I think it's like five dollars I washed my hair like every three four days just keep doing that over and over and over for like six months minimum and you'll see the difference in your hair so at night whenever I would go to sleep also another thing that I would do is I would wear my hair in a ponytail all the way at the top of my head it's kind of funny looking but it really works I'll show you guys what I mean so basically I put a ponytail on the top right here and then I go to sleep kind of like helping to protect your curls and protect the ends of your hair and also what I do when I sleep is I actually sleep on a silk pillowcase so I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> so this is the silk pillowcase that I have this one is from a company called MYX silk this is really really soft and this is good for curly hair because it's not gonna like absorb any oils that you have in your hair which regular pillowcases do so I switched and I only sleep on a silk pillowcase and it doesn't like make your head like slip and slide that's what I used to think but this one at least from this this company this one is really good so everything that I'm talking about in this video I'm gonna leave it down below like every product and stuff that I mentioned so 
that's that let me fix that that doesn't look good so now if you're one of those people that you're addicted to heat and you have to use heat i have like some tips too for that because i was one of those people to be honest if you like have to use heat i would recommend only doing it once every few months keep it like down to a minimum as much as possible because for me for my hair like heat damages my hair so fast and it doesn't grow when i put a lot of heat on my hair my hair does not grow it breaks off and i end up like with my hair actually getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter so i learned my lesson from that also another thing that i do so i straighten my hair with a flat iron i don't use a blow dryer but even when i do i don't flat iron my hair completely straight you can see in every video where my hair is like straight even including this video you can see the top is like a little bit wavy you can see there's a little bit of frizz that's because i do not like run the flat iron over and over and over and try to make it straight and that is what is going to damage your hair so what i do whenever i'm flat ironing my hair i take a piece I go from the top and I'll flip it like this and then just go all the way down so that you get like kind of like this curls at the end one time two times maximum but that's it that's how I get like my hair to look like this so this is what it looks like from the back this is better than if you were to flat iron your hair pin straight because like this you have more volume you still have length I prefer this I don't think I'm ever gonna like straight in my hair like straight straight pin straight again it's not worth it and honestly I think this looks better also another tip that i want to tell you guys so if you notice in my past like maybe 10 or so videos when i was wearing my hair half up in a ponytail right here and half back actually that was no heat at all and it looked like i straightened my hair but i didn't the way that i got my hair like that was after i got out of the shower i combed out my curls if you guys want me to show this in a video i might do it if there's a lot of requests but after my hair dried i put my hair in a bun all the way in the back of my head and then i was sleep and i pretty much every day i combed it out again straight and then put it in a bun and over and over and over probably for like a week until my hair started to get more like these big like waves from the bun the top is never going to be straight it still has like texture but you can't see it because i have it in that half ponytail so i love that one too because that's no heat at all if you want straightened hair but you don't want to damage your hair that's another option too i will also say when it comes to trimming your hair what i did is i would look at the ends of my hair and if i feel like the ends are damaged or if i have split ends i'll go ahead and trim it but honestly i do not trim my hair consistently or regularly like they tell you i don't do that at all i actually went a whole year without trimming my hair because the ends looked fine so if your ends look fine there's no reason to cut off healthy hair now obviously if your hair is damaged it's better just to cut it off and just start fresh for me my hair definitely grows faster when there's no damage on it if you saw in the beginning of my channel actually when my hair was this short it's because i literally cut off all of my hair and i was trying to you know start and grow it back healthy the last thing i want to tell you guys is you have to be patient 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 because it takes time especially if you are anemic and you're trying to recover if your body's not healthy on the inside then your hair is not really gonna grow your hair and your nails is what suffers it took me like three years probably over three years to get my hair to pretty much like this and my hair is not 100 percent recovered yet my hair used to be thicker than this but to be honest i don't think that i'm gonna be able to get that hair back i just kind of accepted that this is probably the best that my hair is gonna get which is fine whatever if it wasn't for like youtube and you guys commenting like oh your hair looks better your hair looks healthier i wouldn't even have noticed because it happens so so slowly in time so yeah you have to be patient it's annoying but try at least six months six months no heat wear your hair in its natural state wash and goes or even better is protective styles i like to do buns uh, one bun right here one bun right here something that will keep your ends like tucked away and safe but pretty much that's it that's everything that i did to grow my hair back i will see you guys all tomorrow in the next video elias will be back tomorrow too like he's here now but he's sleeping so yeah, bye!